In the world of photography, choosing the best image format can sometimes be confusing. Some people say RAW is better, other people say JPEG is better. In this video, I will explain my own personal experience regarding RAW and JPEG image format. Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today is another quick chat video. Hopefully this time won't be too long, but today I want to explore the topic of RAW versus JPEG image format in the world of photography. Which one is better, especially from my own personal experience and hopefully by watching this video, whether you are a beginner photographer or a seasoned photographer, you'll be able to learn more about RAW versus JPEG and hopefully I can help you to decide which format is better. So in photography, there are two kinds of image format. First is JPEG, where it's basically the final image. What you see is what you get. All of the information that's on the image will be final. All of the dynamic range data, all of the color data, it's going to be final on JPEG. And the second format is RAW, where there are more information in the image, especially in terms of dynamic range and color, and you have to process it to turn it into final image. Now, the assumption has always been RAW is more professional because it requires you to process the image first. So that requires a certain amount of knowledge and skill to be able to get the most out of raw images. And JPEG is more for amateur because what you see is what you get. You don't have to do anything and it's just kind of easy to take a picture and get the result instantly. But from my own personal experience, I want to mention something that might be shocking for you and this could be quite difficult to understand. So I'm going to just say it as it is. Are you ready? So here it is. JPEG is actually hard. Let me explain. If you are shooting raw image format, when you miss the settings on the camera a little bit, for example, the exposure setting or maybe the white balance setting or maybe if you are using auto setting and the camera mess it up because there are more information in raw photo format you will be able to at least recover uh, those informations and try to have your photo fix in post processing but when you are shooting in jpeg that's a whole different story. You have to be precise with everything. There's no tolerance for error because uh, your exposure setting will be baked into the final image. Your dynamic range will be baked into the final image. And also your color will be baked into the final image. And although you can edit JPEG pictures, you can still add a little bit more exposure, lower a little bit more exposure. It's not as flexible as raw photo format. What I just said might sound really obvious. Yeah, Gary, duh, we already know that raw is more flexible and JPEG, you have to be precise because that's the final image. We already know that. Yeah, I get it. Maybe all of you already know what I said, but in reality, this really affects the kind of photography genre that you can do with both uh, image format. For example, for run and gun stuff like street photography, event photography, travel photography, using JPEG will be much more difficult than using RAW because with JPEG, again, you have to be really precise with everything. And in run and gun situation, you have to be really fast and quick. And if you mess a little bit of things in your camera, the exposure setting or the white balance, then it's game over. <laughs> so yeah, maybe for those kind of stuff, it's better to shoot in RAW. But for, you know, like a more casual, more slow paced kind of photography genre, you know, JPEG could be better because you have all the time in the world. You can set your camera carefully. You can uh, just slow down, focus on the photography process and shooting in JPEG might 
make more sense in that kind of situation so yeah choosing between raw and jpeg really depends on your photography requirements and photography genre as well what i'm trying to say is that time really affects the choice between raw and jpeg if you have lots of time then shoot jpeg you'll be fine you have lots of time to experiment until you get it right in the camera but if you don't have a lot of time i think it's better for you to shoot raw because you'll be able to fix it later in post when you need to for me personally I always shoot raw all of the time, not because raw is better, but it's because I'm not a great photographer. I'm just a mediocre photographer and I rely a lot on the automatic features of the camera. Most of the time, I want the camera to adjust most of my exposure settings, most of my color settings, my white balance. I want it to be taken care of by the camera and I just want to focus on the limited time that I have for photography on the composition, on getting the frame that I like, on trying to find a potential scenery that will turn into a nice photograph. Yeah, once again, not because raw is great, but because I want that tolerance, I want to be able to fix it later in post. And thinking about it now, that doesn't sound really good. That sounds like I'm a lazy photographer. And that's why maybe in the future, I wanna challenge myself by turning one of my cameras, for example, the Canon G15 right here, into a JPEG only camera. So no raw shooting, I wanna try to get it right in the camera and do as little editing as I can so that I can be challenged and become more disciplined and hopefully I'll be able to improve as a photographer by doing this JPEG only challenge in the future. And that wraps up today's quick chat about RAW versus JPEG. I hope that this video has been useful and informative. Please comment down below and let's have a little bit of discussion. Which image format do you prefer, RAW or JPEG? And why? Let me know. Let's have a discussion together. Also, if you have any question, comment down below as well and I will try my best to answer them. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. And if you want to support my work even further, you can use the affiliate links on the description below or use the super thanks button to make a small donation to my channel. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.